When you think of big, heavy trucks, the kind that thunder down highways hauling tens of thousands of pounds, you're probably not picturing a fast, efficient electric vehicle. Traditionally, 18-wheelers have been gas-guzzling giants, loud and sluggish, especially when loaded to the brim. That's why the Tesla Semi shocked just about everyone when it hit the scene. Now, among all of Tesla's electric vehicles, none bend the rules of physics quite like the Semi. Most people believed a battery-powered big rig was impossible. Even tech giant Bill Gates was skeptical. He once said that no matter how far battery tech advanced, it wouldn't be practical for massive vehicles like semis, cargo ships, or planes. The batteries, he said, were just too bulky and heavy. But Elon Musk wasn't having any of that. He flat out called Gates clueless when it came to electric trucks. And to prove him wrong, Musk didn't just talk. He built something incredible. The Tesla Semi isn't just another EV. It's a potential game changer for the trucking industry. Musk sees it as the answer to the ongoing shortage of truck drivers in the US, a vehicle so advanced and compelling, it might even inspire people to stick with the job instead of leaving it behind. And what a machine it is. The Tesla Semi can travel up to 800 miles on a single charge and has already saved over a million gallons of diesel, which is roughly $3.5 million in fuel costs. No wonder Elon calls it a money machine. Of course, the road to get here wasn't exactly smooth. The semi was first revealed way back in 2017, but production hit delay after delay. For a while, it felt like it might never arrive. But now, Tesla is finally gearing up for mass production, with 10,000 units expected this year and a massive 50,000 next year. The newly built Giga Semi factory is nearly complete, and it's already being outfitted with production equipment. It's go time. Now, Tesla isn't alone in the electric truck game. Volvo, Mercedes-Benz, Daimler, and BYD are all in the mix. But let's be honest, none of their trucks come close to what the Tesla Semi offers. That's not a knock on the others, it's just that the Semi is in a league of its own. We're talking about a truck that can go 500 miles per charge, even when fully loaded at 80,000 pounds, and it still goes from 0 to 60 in 20 seconds. That's unheard of. And if that wasn't enough, Tesla's already working on a second-gen version that's even better, more aerodynamic, more efficient, and easier for drivers to handle. They're adding new mirrors for better visibility and a drop glass window to help with interacting at ports and gates. It's all about making the driver's life easier. And here's where things get even more interesting. Tesla is switching the Semi's battery to a newer, high-performance HP version. It's cheaper to make, lighter, and somehow, despite having less total energy, still delivers the same impressive range thanks to a 7% efficiency improvement. That means more value for customers and a lighter, more nimble truck overall. Many thought Tesla would use their fancy 4,680 battery cells for the Semi, like they did with the Cybertruck. But turns out, they're going with something even more optimized for the semi's size and workload. And since these new batteries are produced right at the Nevada factory, alongside the semi itself, there are no shipping delays, and production becomes even faster and more efficient. Now, think about this. If Tesla really manages to produce 50,000 trucks per year, that's over 135 trucks per day, or about one truck every 10 minutes. That might sound wild, but Tesla has a history of pulling off the impossible. Just look at the Model Y. They've gotten its production time down to 1 every 33 seconds. So yeah, a semi every 5 to 10 minutes doesn't seem that far-fetched anymore. Heavy-duty trucks like the semi are usually complicated to build because of their massive size and customizable parts. Diesel trucks often come with all sorts of tailored configurations. Different axles, transmissions suspensions, you name it. That's why building them typically requires a lot of hands-on work. But Tesla is cutting down that complexity by removing the messy parts. No gas engine, no transmission, way fewer moving parts. And this matters. With fewer parts, there's less that can break, less to maintain, and less time off the road. That means more profit for trucking companies and fewer headaches for drivers. The Tesla Semi's maintenance cost is just 10 cents per mile, compared to about 20 cents for a diesel truck. That's a 50% cut in maintenance. Over 5 years and 100,000 miles annually, that's a $50,000 savings, 
And that's just in upkeep. Then there's fuel. At California's average electricity price, it costs about 30 cents per mile to operate the semi. A diesel truck doing the same distance costs around $3.51 per gallon, or $3.51 per 6.5 miles. Over time, that's a huge gap. Just ask PepsiCo, which is already using the semi. Their drivers report the same 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile that Tesla claimed, proving the numbers are real, not marketing fluff. And here's the kicker. The driving experience itself is a major upgrade. Drivers talk about how quiet and smooth the ride is, with no engine roar or constant vibrations. Some PepsiCo drivers have said they'd stay in their jobs just for the chance to keep driving the semi. But Musk isn't stopping there. He wants the semi to go full self-driving in the near future. Because the U.S. has a serious truck driver shortage and the job isn't easy. Long hours, noisy engines, and exhausting routes have pushed many drivers out of the business. But a semi-autonomous Tesla semi? That could change everything. Imagine a world where a big rig can handle most of the drive on its own, cruising highways, avoiding traffic, maintaining safe speeds, while the driver supervises or takes over when needed. It's not just about convenience, it's about safety, health, and retaining talent in an industry that desperately needs it. The Tesla Semi isn't just cleaner and cheaper, it's smarter. It can recover energy through regenerative braking, especially going downhill, boosting range, and saving even more power. It's built for efficiency from the ground up, and it shows. In the big picture, this truck is about more than just dollars and specs. It's about redefining what's possible for heavy transport. The semi can climb a 10% incline at 60 miles per hour while loaded, something no diesel truck can dream of doing. And remember, Trucks only make up 1% of vehicles in the U.S. but they account for a whopping 18% of greenhouse gas emissions. That means every diesel mile replaced by a Tesla semi-mile helps cut pollution in a big way. So, what happens when you combine performance, savings, sustainability, and autonomous driving in one package? You get a future where long-haul trucking isn't a grueling job but a high-tech career. One where companies save millions and drivers enjoy the ride. The Tesla Semi is here, and it might just be the elephant that moves like a cheetah.